Hello, feature viewers! Welcome back. Today we have Natasha's side of things, and it looks like that party is going to be another challenge, although perhaps for different reasons. Our healing is not very strong. On the other hand, at least we can give some kills to our mage without any future regret. In fact, we're gonna have to give a lot of kills if we're going to have a chance to unlock the thing that we need to unlock for her to be useful late game. Alright. Oh, they actually... They actually changed the way they move around on the vines a little bit. That's cool. Well, I promoted everyone. Of course I did that. So we got some skeletons. Those are not really a big deal. Uh, they've dealt with Pegasus Knights before. This treasure chest. That treasure chest might be a problem. I'm not sure that I plan to develop Randolph over the long term because, you know, Shining Forest tradition, there's only two good centaur weapons in the game. In every game. There's the Valkyrie and the Halberd, and that's it. Nonetheless, I don't think that we can afford to, uh, be too... <laughs> We, we don't have the luxury of holding back. Maybe Randolph can get the treasure chest. That would be a good use for him. But he'll probably have to do some fighting as well. I think he also has a power spear. Oh, off-camera I traded items around a little bit as well, so Don has the other power spear. So actually having the Robin's Arrow and power spear on this team is not bad at all. I'm gonna need them. So I need to be a little bit careful with Graham. He's not a tank like Chester is. Why is... Oh, is this all 30%? No, just... Why are these tiles 30%? Oh well. I don't understand things. See, I think Randolph did pretty well in book one as, as well, which is... It's kind of a shame that I might have to leave him behind, but that's how it goes. Oh yeah, I haven't equipped Don with the weapon yet, but fortunately that doesn't matter much. Sure, why not? But I should probably reserve most of her remaining MP for kills. I also need to be a little careful because that skeleton can attack Natasha. Oh wow, I didn't actually know you could attack while unarmed. Well, live and learn. Hmm, very nice. That seems like a kill I should give to Natasha. Actually, either of them will be fine, but just one at a time. So giving this one to Luke should be not a problem. Okay. That's much better than reusing the punch animation from Shining Force 1, except less flashy and f less cool. If there's any game that serves as an example of why you maybe shouldn't make a remake 100% faithful, it's book one of this game.
All right. Uh, this team seems to be splitting up a little bit. I wonder how far they're gonna split up. Anyway, I should uh, move over this way. I don't want to miss any enemies here. Well, after playing some Metal Wolf Chaos, I look with any bridge with some suspicion. But I'm fairly sure that's not how this particular game works. Hmm. I actually think Natasha is... Okay, never mind. Her, her defense does not hold up like it used to. So at worst, I'd rather... Oh, okay, they're not going to head down. Never mind, that was just posturing. It was not actually a big deal. Th this seems like the sort of map where, in the battle summary, I'm going to cut out very large segments of just walking. But, however, even if I end up spending as much game time walking as I do on those Shining Force 1 maps with all kinds of two-tile uh, terrain, this still feels a lot less frustrating because I have more of a say on where people go uh, from moment to moment. So I can understand why these tiles are slow. Walking around narrow cliffs, uh... Wait, I can actually move around more easily on vines than these flat pieces of land? Okay, that's weird. This game is weird. Well, leveling-wise, of course, the next step is to get everyone up to level the second. And try to avoid giving Randolph kills, since he's already there. Oh, oh, jeez, I forgot again. That's okay. I'm not used to just equipping stuff on people during a map. I should... I should pay more attention. Seven health, huh? Alright, freeze one should be fine. But the other one should probably go to Dawn when she finally gets a, a turn where I remember to equip her. Uh, no defense. Alright, so I better get used to Natasha being squishy. That's... that is unfortunate. I was used to having unusual defense for a mage. Ouch. Okay. And Graham reminds us, again, of why he's so amazing. Well, that's better. Let's compare stats while we're here. We have Don, which is 39 and 20. Randolph is actually stronger. That's interesting. I'm highly tempted to uh, leave Dawn behind. But I don't know, I just feel better about bringing the original team along. Uh oh. Well, let's not get a double attack here. That would be really bad. Hmm, in retrospect, I should have used some healing instead of attacking. 
Also, I shouldn't be surprised by that low damage. We are on 30% tiles after all. And you don't have a healing herb, but you do. Okay, so a move from either Graham or Natasha will hopefully solve the problem. Or we could get lucky with Luke's turn order. That also works. Ah, just in time. And of course, that fun mage blocking animation, or wizard in this case. Alright, it's fine for Graham to get this. Hmm. And it's a good thing Luke got that uh, quick turn roller because neither Graham nor Natasha could have handled it. Ooh, that was scary. For future enemies, I try to, I need to try and catch them on the vines. Alright, well, one point of attack power is better than what Chester was getting. Hmm. I wonder if this game kind of flags terrain in a simple sort of way, like... There's 15% terrain that's easy to move on, and then there's 30% that's more difficult. But on the other hand, I can move around here pretty freely, so who knows. Oh. I mean, I, I guess I won't turn down the money, but... I was hoping for something a little more unique. Alright, which way should I go this way? There's nothing up around here, so I might as well take the left path. Might be able to pull the knight onto vines, so that would be ideal. Uh oh, that mage is, uh to cause some trouble. I need to be a little careful about my positioning. Let's see, can the mage reach her down here? Oh yeah, yep, you sure can. Alright, well, I'm kind of glad the Arch Knight didn't move. I'd like to deal with these guys one at a time. Hmm. Alright. It's okay, I have a couple of people who can use... Uh... Not her, though. But I believe Natasha has one. And I think... Well, Luke is in heal 2 range, but... Well, actually, I can fix that by moving over here. Hooray. Actually, here's a question. Is it better for me to try to kill the Master Mage? I actually don't think so. Not from that head. I shouldn't. That seems like a bad idea. That's going to be an interesting question if Luke goes next. But I can't count on that. 
This means I'm gonna take a two target blaze three after this. But it's still better than taking a KO, I would say. Alright, maybe Luke can finish him. That would be great. That would prevent trouble. Oh boy! Defense up by three as well. Okay, uh, I was worried about Luke's ability to um, defend himself in combat, but I guess that's less of a problem now. And the Arch Knight decided to go to the wrong place to attack. Well, that's good news for me. It could have stayed in the brush. Don't know why it decided not to. Alright, so things are looking okay. I was concerned. I had some reservations about how well I could finish this map. But I guess I didn't have to have the concerns. this night alive for Natasha. Uh, that might not be a bad idea. I don't know how easy or difficult it's going to be in the future. gives Randolph time to catch up as well. Freeze 2, I don't think it's going to be useful here. Well, maybe. Do I have enough MP for it? I think it's 7. Oh well, no need to worry about it. I can use Blaze 2 if I have to. Although, this is some strange progression, and you, were, you really don't see this sort of thing in other Shining Force games. Oh, really? I was fairly certain that the sniper was going to attack, but if it doesn't want to, that's good news for me. Oh, okay, she kind of is going to need that defense very soon. Because that is a power ring right there. Um, and for that reason I should probably keep Natasha away. I mean, she did just gain her level. <coughs> and if Luke can't attack, then I guess she can heal. He. He can heal. He'd probably take exception to what I just said. <clears throat> Okay. Hmm. That, that's pretty nice. I like that. Yeah, those five points of damage are all powering, if I understand the stats correctly. Well, we finally got a bishop that heals people. Uh, we knew this day was going to happen eventually.
Well, let's spread the damage out a little bit in that case. I know he doesn't have aura. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Graham's, uh, Graham's extra punch helps quite a bit. I think that'll be good enough. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, it's a good thing I didn't give that to Natasha. She would have gotten, like, one hit point. One hit point, one experience point. I think the best case scenario here will be if the lizard man goes down a tile and attacks Randall from the left. Or you could just move two tiles and not attack. That also works for me. That works rather well. I, I guess I can understand why they had the AI hold back a little bit, but I know that it can do better than that. And sort of Haja usually is not too shy about making things difficult, so I'm a little disappointed. Now let's leave a, an attack spot for Luke. Yeah, without the higher level weapons, that lizard man is pretty darn tough. And let's not give it an avenue to attack Natasha, shall we? Yeah, let's play that little bit of tactics safe. Oh wow! Uh, he's really skyrocketing now. Man, remember when I wasn't sure whether I should level up Luke at all? Man, when I was reading a guide, they, they had pretty mediocre things to say about him as well. I wonder if they bothered leveling him up. You know what? Gaining one point of attack every level is okay, I guess. I mean, he still hits plenty hard. And... Once again, after my time playing Shining Force 1, I'll take what I can get. Oh, they have mysteriously vanished. Th there should be... Okay, I know they explode and vanish in Shining Force, but still. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's... Really? Yeah, this is what happens when you mistreat your workers. <laughs> well, we now have a use for that battle axe we got. It's too bad. The bad guys were fairly smart about things most of the time, but then they had to do some of the usual villain stuff, and now we know how to attack the fort. Okay. So let's let's check the stats of our new party member. Also talk to them. Okay. Well, most of the 
enemies we fight are weak against being hit with things. It's not really a huge puzzle. So that's, uh, okay, he already has a battle axe. Fine. Um, that's really good attack power. Let's see, where, how does Luke measure up? Okay, he, he's, he's at that same level. His defense is actually pretty good now. Yeah, he's got warrior defense now. That was, that was really fast. That's amazingly fast. Oh wow, 45 is, seems to be the magic number. Don seems to be falling behind though. Um, if I get another power wine, maybe she should get it. And let me guess what we have in this shop here. Let me just take a wild guess. Also, why is Diana shown at the head? That should be Natasha. I guess they couldn't quite tweak the game engine that much. Yep, here's all the stuff. Alright, well, I'll deal with this off-camera as usual. And that's why Sarah can't join us yet. She's doing the, um, out-of-town priest duties right now. That's actually kind of interesting. Like, maybe just about any priest could do that, but the preparations mean that you also you can't also go out into battle. Hmm. Yep, later everyone. See you next time.